Whew. Oh, it's nice and warm up here too. It is, it's very nice. <laughs> Finally made it. We are here and we are live. Great. Today is going to be a special day. As we... As we are fishing in a new lake and this year, and this time, it's for bass. Bring them up close to the water there. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> First time ever here in Aylesford Lake. Water's a little bit choppy. Yeah, let's take a look down here. <laughs> First day here on the water here at a new lake that I've never fished before, known as Aylesford Lake. The water seems very clear. And also, it's a pretty windy day. We're going to be doing some smallmouth bass fishing today. Very excited about that because I haven't gotten a chance to do smallmouth fishing since I've even moved down here. And I'm here with Nico again. We traveled for almost an hour down here. So today's going to be a bass fishing day. And also good news, I get to break in my new bait cast that I bought this year from the unboxing video. But I never got a chance to use since because I've been shad fishing and trout fishing. Woohoo! <clears throat> Alright, I got all my bass gear with me because I don't know what's going to bite or what's going to happen. Look at that right there. New bait caster. It's a medium action by Berkeley. And of course, my ultralight. Oh, my ultralights. And I'm going to set up here. Yeah, got a new bait cast. Get to break this in this year. First time going in, doing some bass fishing. I'm determined to get a big smallmouth today. And we're going to be doing some kayak bassing. Yep. And. We're not fishing from bass boat, a bass boat today. We're going to be fishing from kayaks. So we're going to be doing a little bit of kayak bass, and this will be my first time ever fishing from a kayak. So this is also going to be different and fun. Got a little bit of a chop on the water, a little bit of cloudy cloud cover, but it should make for a good day. There is a set of narrows that comes down. There's a slight current with it, Paul was telling me. Mm -hmm. But up in there, it's more. It's a, it's a smaller basin. Yep. And there's the far end trees up there so like i don't know it's hard to say now but if we'll go up on the right side here we'll stick right close side. to the shore yeah and we'll just fish as we go up but um so i think because the wind's going this way we'll try and just go north yeah oh that's north yeah we'll yep. go north north south east yeah that's where, where are we now west east, east south, south north, north. So, yeah, yep. we'll, we'll go south and then uh yeah, we'll make it up as far as we feel comfortable, and then uh, the wind should bring us back down, so then we don't have to paddle. Oh, we'll be we'll be fine. I mean, we got we got a whole bunch of lake to discover, so we'll be all right. All right. So now that we got it figured out where we're going, we're going on to the far left side. Here's my bait cast. Again, get to try it today. I think today I'm going to start off with a spinner bait, a titanium spinner bait by Terminator. And uh, yeah, a, a medium action bait cast around 10 pound test. Just something light. So I get to bring that in. In the kayaks. Looking pretty good. Oh man, it's been forever since I've been in a kayak. Uh, I was hoping that little spot there would be a little bit. Yeah. They got stuff, we got stuff we can put our rods on and everything here. They're not actual fishing kayaks, they're more sport, uh, just pleasure kayaks. Yeah, recreational. Recreational pleasure. They'll do the job. No, they'll do the job, it all is right. 
We'll just have to carefully place things. So most likely my rod is gonna go in here. Ah, thank you. That'll go in here for food. Ooh, the black flash is starting to form. All right, so uh, I see what it spilled. <laughs> oh, my bag. oh no, it's my rod. So I'm gonna start off with. I'm gonna start off with a spinner bait, and then if not, probably go check around. Uh, chuck a dipper. And as usual, here's your stuff. So Aylesford Lake, we got quite a bit of ground to cover. Try to find a bass and I'm gonna land my first bass this year. I haven't got a chance to go bass fishing at all since then. And today is the day. New lake, new fish. Well, old fish, but new lake to discover. Here we go. We have Senkos. That's my top water box. Uh, Anything in there, top water. We could spin. Find me a good top water one. Oh, okay, well. We have frogs, we have live target bait balls. These are really good. Any something not too big, like maybe like that size. Maybe something that size? Okay, so maybe you want. Okay, let's see here. Maybe you want something like these. <laughs> we have skitter pops, I have rebel poppers. Probably something like that. We got torpedoes. Torpedoes are really good. They're my favorite. So Probably torpedoes, if anything, so, uh, go ahead, pick yourself out one. You're, you're better off probably seeing, because I already know what I'm chucking on. I'm chucking on a swim bait, chucking on a swim bait, and then possibly, possibly a tube jig, maybe, for a small east. Once we get some stuff here, we can get going here. Oh, he's putting on bug spray. I should probably put some on too. Yeah. So go ahead, pick one out. Uh, we've got all sizes in there. I got walker baits. I got everything, man. Little garbo, garbo hopper. Those are my trout spinners. Uh, the old blue fox, huh? Be good. All right, hopefully this can fit. There we go. Got some boxes here. Top water box can go in back in my bag, and my dippers, Senkos. I brought all my bass gear today because I wasn't sure what I'm gonna catch today. Hopefully, something a little bit of chop on the water never hurts anybody. This bag's pretty big, so I am really gonna have to figure out how to do this. <laughs> Got all our very top stuff, and now we're gonna get ready and head out there. Okay. Whoa. All right, we're in. So, first trip ever kayak bassing. Now I'm gonna get pretty wet here, I guess. Whoa. Whoa. Woo. 
<laughs> We're a little bit wet here. All right. Awesome. Ooh, bottom of my kayaks. My butt is wet. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Whew. Whew. I haven't been kayaking in a long time, so I may be a little bit rusty here in this rough water. If I capsize, this is going to be an outtake. <laughs> so here we are, Aylesford Lake. Aylesford Lake. We've got a little bit of rough water here. But that's okay. Right. So we are here at the in the cove part. There's over there's where we dropped off. Well, these things are pretty clippy. Huh? These things are pretty clippy. <laughs> they are. Looks like there's a creek coming out there. Really? Yeah, me too. My butt's already soaked. <laughs> I'm already soaked too, but you know what? It's alright. I think next time we'll get a canoe. Ooh. These are only pleasure craft kayaks. These ain't actual uh these aren't actual uh fishing kayaks, so we're gonna have to be very super sturdy here. So that way nothing happens to us. Alright. So a little bit of casting off the spinner bait and didn't get much. I'm gonna try a swim bait here. Uh, watermelon black flake. Uh, watermelon black flake. There. Give that a try. Uh, whew. My butt is already pretty much soaked after taking in water. Not getting used to. Uh, not getting used to this uh, since I haven't kayak fished in like a couple of years. Got a swim bait. Oh, oh. Is that a bubble? <laughs> oh. oh, there's like sunken logs and everything before me here. What a nice little spot. Odds are there's got to be there's got to be bass here. A little kayak bassin' today. What about you, you? Well, he's gone up there, I guess. I'm just gonna investigate this cove here. Cause there's definitely got to be something here. If I can break in my bait cast, I will be happy. Now this is around the May period, so when the bait fish are swarming and stuff and they're feeding really heavily before spawning, so pretty sure something's got to come about here. Alright, guess there's nothing in this area. So we're gonna move on. Catch up with Nico. There we go, first one. Here we go, buddy. Smallmouth bass. <laughs> he hit that some hard too. Yeah. That was right up in them rocks too. Smallmouth bass in the kayak. 
Oh, yeah. First pass of the year. Look at this one. Oh, yeah. Who the man? Oh, he's a nice. <laughs> he's a bass. Look at that, Holy folks. <laughs> I cast that right in there, man. My rod just went flunk. <laughs> Oh yeah, nice small mouth bass, bud. Ray, I cast that right there. See where them rocks are? See where it goes in? Yep. I threw it right in there, and he just, I, I seen the boil, and he just, he just slurped it, man. Oh yeah. Couple minutes of paddling, worth it. Straight up right there, bud. First small mouth bass of the year. Oh, you want to know I didn't bring? What? You didn't bring your pliers either, I bet, didn't you? I gotta get a picture of you. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful smallmouth. Yep, it's confirmed. Aylesford Lake, smallmouth, Aylesford Lake, smallmouth bass. Get a quick picture. Nice. Nah, bye. Alright, man. Nice. Yeah. Look at that beautiful smallmouth. First bass of the year, Aylesford Lake. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it's confirmed. There's bass in here. I knew there'd be bass in here. This guy has got a belly on him too. I knew there'd be bass in here because of uh, of uh, this being a tournament lake. So nice belly though. It's got a decent, decent fish. Oh yeah, first bass of the year. And as always, we'll put him back. There he goes. Get right in there too, man. I cast it near that rock shoal as close as I could get it. I was pretty much, my bait could have kissed it. I told you something was following it and then sure enough. All right, another smallmouth. Now it'd be nice to watch you fight one off the fly. Oh yeah. No, I watched him follow that the first time and off camera there, I watched him follow it and I told you there was something following me. I couldn't tell what it was. It looked like a, it looked like a, a cat, a catfish. But man, sure enough, no, it was a bass. Okay, now that we know that there's smallmouth in this lake, which I knew, but wasn't sure because we weren't catching nothing for the past hour that we've been uh, we've been uh, paddling here in these kayaks. I think it's safe to say that uh, my bass lures would be great here. And right now I've switched to top water because I want to try to be brave here and try to get one off of top water. Now I switched to my spinning gear because my bait cast unfortunately just got out of commission so I gotta take that home and fix that up. So. I wanted to break in my bait cast, but I guess I can't today. Oh, look at that. There was one right there. Look, he's hitting it. He just striked twice at that bait. Oh, he's coming for it. He's coming. Oh, he swirled it, but he did. Oh, look, he was right there. <laughs> oh, he was right there. He was right at the foot of the kayak. Pretty sure that was a pickerel. Get back underneath those trees there. 
Oh man, I gotta say, it's nice to be bass fishing. Torpedo seems to be on fire, man. I just had three hits here. Oh, there was a swirl right there. They're around the kayak. There's fish here. The color I'm using is silver blue. I imagine there's probably pickerel in it. Chain pickerel in this lake, too. Oh, yep, that's a pickerel. Look at him right there. Look at him. Yep, that's a pickerel, all right. I just seen him, caught him right on cam there. Nope. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, I got some pop if you want. Oh yeah, that'll. Uh, lemonade. Yeah, that'll be great. Oh man, there's some rock shoals. There's some rock shoals just over here where that bass boat is. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. Feathered here. Yeah. Oh man. Small little break. Oh man, up along there, man, there's a bunch of big rocks and stuff like that. Definitely bass, bass territory here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, well, we got one. We got one on the boat in the shirts. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. That was a big smallmouth too. I'm probably guessing that thing was probably at least about like a couple, a couple of pounds. A couple pounds, yeah, at least uh, two point two. It was round. I had a pickerel take a snap at the torpedo, but... That's promising. Nah, the torpedo. Oh, these? Oh, man. Man, these things, man. Look how long I had this thing. I've had this thing since high school. Nah. All the teeth marks, man. Each mark, each... And right, you see where it's yeah. rounded up there. Yeah, each teeth, each teeth mark tells a story yeah. in the angling world. <laughs> had some yeah. activity over there, so I'd like to continue over there. And then once we get around the corner, then we'll... Yeah. Oh, I don't want my chips getting wet. Actually. Ah. Mm. Here we go. You okay? <laughs> okay, so after a quick little uh, little snack break, we're back to the action, doing some kayak bassing for some smallies. So I'm gonna come back up here. I'm gonna try again for some top water, and if I can't get nothing off the top water. Off of a top water bait, I'm gonna switch back to a swim bait because we're gonna be hitting into a heading into a narrow narrow part of the lake, and uh, we're definitely uh, gonna be hitting up there. And Nico's going back to his spot, so I'm gonna come back in here, sneak back in here because I got a little bit of activity in here, right off that right off this point here. Man, there's some beautiful houses out here. Since I've uh, been fishing out here, Ilsford Lake definitely got got some nice bass to it, though. Well, one thing's for sure, I want to know where the trophies are because this is a tournament lake. I found out, and I want to catch me a tournament fish, tournament-worthy fish.
using using this kind of rod on a top for top water is not exactly the greatest choice because the ultralight the tip is a little bit flimsy so but it gets the job done so I'm not too super not too worried about that I'm gonna switch up here. Oh, oh did you see that? Well, I had him, but my drag was too loose. That was a bass, too. That was a decent bass. <laughs> Did you see him when he came aboard it? <laughs> Off camera there, I just had a bass just jump at my uh, swim bait here. We're fishing in a bunch of grass here. Gotcha. Nope, it's a pickerel. Ugh. There we go. You need a weedless rig. Uh, no. No, but they, they are pretty good against uh, weeds and stuff. And here we are, first pickerel of the year. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a bass too! <laughs> I'm using uh, the little dipper. <laughs> the, uh, what is it, the Houdini dipper. I got him here in my bait. <laughs> look at that, man, right as soon as he hit, right off the bat here, look at this, folks. Oh man, this little place is full of them. <laughs> little, little guy, but. Oh, that little weed line is full of the bass. I caught two right out of that spot. I'm using uh, the Houdini little dipper. Huh? Yeah, sure. Get you one here. Oh, they're snapping them like crazy, slipping them up like crazy. Loose. And it's very, it's very easy to cast these things. You just keep your thumb on the reel, but you also got to use your, use these to adjust to the right way to lure. Yeah. Keep your thumb on the line, wind up, throw and let go. Easy casting, man. They're, once you go bait cast, you'll, oh, you know, once you go bait casting, you'll, uh, love it. it there's just... They're very, very nice to have. And there's so many varieties you can get. So many varieties of bait cast you can get. Like, uh, you can get speed spools. You can get just regular spools. Depending on how... Depending on uh, what you like to fish. There's there's a bait cast for everything, really. I think my issue was all of my weight, all of my rigs were too, too light. <laughs> Yeah, uh, a bait cast, you need, uh, you need, uh, you can fish even light rigs with them. You just got to, uh, adjust them properly. Uh, it probably help, didn't help that I had fucking 12 pound braided spider wire on there. This is 10 pound. Is it? Yeah. These baits are bigger than what I was using though. I'm using a, I'm using a 1 8 ounce, 1 8 ounce jig head. And see, look, I'm just casting just fine. Oh yeah, pretty much. It's very easy to use these things. Like very, very easy. There's a 
I can cast more accurate with these things than I can a spinning. It's hard to believe, but I've been fishing with bait cast longer. Yeah. yeah. Well, I say we should move up a little bit, because I think, I think after catching all those bass and pickerel there, <laughs> I think that they're a little bit fished out. Here we go. It's a pickerel. <sighs> Told you I had a hunch. <laughs> nice little chainer right there, folks. We're moving up more into the uh, enclosed area here. And uh, since we get up at the other end of the lake here, the bite has seemed to turn right on it has. That's good. And good news, I got my bait cast up and working again in case you guys didn't notice. Uh, bait cast here. Just a line was a little bit mangled on it a little bit. I just had to readjust some spots here and now she casts like a dream. Nico's way up there and I told him I had a hunch here because some overhanging trees and stuff so definitely have to take a look in those so once we reel up here we'll go take a look and see how Nico's doing feels really great to be out here bass fishing a little bit windy but we're making do oh boy yeah right in there that's where you want to be yeah, and trust me, you'll know if you'll get one, because you'll feel them. Well, I'm going to get in your way here. Okay. <laughs> all along those dead brush and stuff like that, see all over here? Oh boy. Off the dipper too. What does he got? It's a chain pickerel. All right. Nice one, bud. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Thanks for the memories. Oh, there's a hit. Oh. My drag was too loose. <laughs> no. No way, no way. I had a nice... Huh? Oh yeah, the pickerel... You'll find them throughout little uh, channels like this and stuff. I just had a nice hit. No way. No, it's a bass too. Smallmouth. There's a smallmouth, buddy. <laughs> He's nailing him out of there. Yeah, bud. Get him. Get him in. Hold him up. <laughs> Get him up. Hold him in. How big is he? Is he? Oh, It's all good. Got a bass too, so you're two. You're two. <laughs> Little spots on fire, ain't it? Wicked. Was that your first bass here on the East Coast? Yeah, sure. Nice one. Congratulations, dude. Thank you. First bass, first chain pickerel, but I'm not counting that chain pickerel until I pull him in. Oh man, you'll get a big one. I want to. I want to see you battle a big one. You're gonna need a drag for them. Nice, nice, nice. I had a nice one earlier over there, underneath that tree over there. Take my drag, but my dr take take my bait, but my drag was too loose. <laughs> All right, right by those fallen dead trees there. I bet you there's a bass.
Got one. Oh, we got a decent sized pickerel. Oh, that's one. <laughs> You're going too far. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy he uh swallowed this one might have to uh, get some surgery on this one all right there we go nice little chain pickerel here in Aylesford lake there he goes back in all right well what turned into a lame uh morning Lame morning afternoon is turning into a pretty good evening All right All right try more so on this side again Oh, I bet you right there would be a good spot too. look at there Got another hunch Another good feeling. Feeling lucky about that stump over there. Guarantee you somebody's gotta be home. No, maybe not. Moved along the banks here. see right where I'm going if you don't have any I can give you I can give you some fluorocarbon leaders work the greatest too right up in there too oh oh you no I had a bite he hit the oh there he is yeah. small mouth <laughs> he hit that the first time and then he hit it the second time nifty little small mouth Thanks for coming and playing, bud. Look at that one. Nice. <laughs> right here in the stumps of the lily pads and the weeds. Beauty, little smallie. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go for round two. Now it is pretty shallow here, so I'm skimming the bait right across the water and they're taking it just like a buzz bait or any other type of topwater lure. He hit it once and I missed him and he chased after it again. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Get off, did he? <laughs> All right. Cast around them stumps here. There's a patch of grass over there. Nico's got one over there on his kayak. What have you got? Nothing. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Nice little smallmouth here hiding in the bushes. And I burn the bait through in shallow conditions like this. I burn it right back just over the brush of the logs in the tree. Gotcha. Jeez, he hit that some quick. Oh, 
Oh, oh no. Come on, come on. Whoa, it's taking me for a ride here. Oh, oh did I lose him? Nope. Uh, no, quick release. <sighs> Didn't get him. Oh well, such oh, a life. Oh, oh, and I had one. Oh, I did. I had him, but I lost him. What do you got? So smallie? Oh, another chainer. chainer? Nice. Oh, fuck, that's your ass. Oh, right there. He just bumped me right there. Got him! Oh, no! Got me off right there. Oh, this place is littered with them. Yeah, that's what they like. near that stump there. All right, let's try along the banks. Maybe in this patch of grass here, there might be one. This is quite the little neat little spot. Okay, one more for good measure near that stump again. I sure have seen most of my bites have been. Ton of ton of grass there though. We're gonna venture closer near shore there. Nice. In the boat. Well, the kayak, I should say. Yep. Oh, yep. Guess he wanted no part of me. <laughs> Can we go two for two? Stumps and trees and everything. Well, yeah, trees, weeds, you name it. Even, whoa, we got a bottom view. Ooh, oh, I seen ya. Oh, I just had a ripple here at my bait. And a nice pet girl just follow me in. See what's in there deep in the jungle. Ooh! <laughs> Oh my goodness, he hammered that. Oh. No. Oh man. Oh, I wish you'd have seen that one. He shot at it like a bullet. Oh my goodness, yes. All right, three for three. I had a nice, I had a nice one here hit me too.
What was that? Is that you? Oh. <laughs> All right. Back in the jungle. There's one. He's right there. I'm way in there. Come on, I want a nice big pickerel. Nice big chainer. If I can get one. Anybody home in here? There's a boil. What about in there? Whew. Okay. Someone's definitely got to be home in there. shallow conditions I'm just burning the bait back skimming it right just above the surface until it makes a little bit of noise and then they hit it Whoa, 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 settle down you. There we go, nice little chain pickerel. There we go. All right, back in you go. He was hiding in there. All right. All right. Yeah, kayak fishing is actually pretty fun. You get a workout and you get to catch fish. You get exercise and fish. All right, I got a hunch about this little spot here. Cause there's a rock right there. And usually structure like that means there's a fish that's somewhere in here. I haven't caught a bass in a while. No idea where the bass is. <laughs> No. Yeah, you gotta reel. You gotta reel pretty much on top of the water. There's one. There's a smallmouth. Speak of the double. And I caught him right underneath that tree there. There we go, nice little bass. All right, nice. There we go. There is stuff here. All right. So we're rolling up here very quietly. I'm in no more than a couple feet, a couple feet of water here. Couple inches of water here. Just gotta rehook the bait. There we go. Now, see if anybody's home in there. Only tiny things, but you know what? They're still fun to catch. Someone about along that bank in there. Guess not. Time to move out. 
Oh, buddy, when it comes to bass fishing. <laughs> and I casted it too. Oh man, sure you want to pass up these spots? <laughs> Look at it, they're everywhere, man. I just cast it right underneath that tree there and this little guy, sure enough, bites it. Watch, watch again, guarantee you. Another one, another one here, watch. I'll be surprised if I don't get one. <laughs> uh, let's see what's across the lake. Man, Aylesford Lake is pretty great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, especially up in this and especially up in this little junction here. I was gonna tell you right now, you better not you better not drive past that. Oh, I'd definitely tell you. My problem today is I keep on floating into the shore. Yeah, you just gotta balance, weigh, weigh yourself out. That's all you gotta do. Balance yourself out. Just, I haven't floated to shore once yet. Not much. Not after I got used to everything. You just gotta keep yourself uh, level. All right, come on, there's gotta be something across the bank for me. Oh yeah, right in there, come on, give me something. Anything, bass, pickerel. Well, I guess I am too. It's a bass. Well, he's not one to come in. Oh, it's a nice smallie too. There we go. Ow. Of course, you gotta start flapping every time. There we go. Beautiful. Look how he ate that right there. Swallowed it right down, he did. <laughs> you can get it, did you? Where'd you go? Right in there, did ya? Alright, there we go, nice smallmouth. Alright, in you go. There's a hit. Oh yeah, it's a pickerel. Oh, decent one too. Oh. Oh, no, he flipped over the boat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, they get bigger. They get bigger. This is nothing. This is just, this here, this is just child's play. Oh, they get way bigger, bud. Oh, yeah, it's still definitely a good size, but, oh, yeah. And in he goes. Right in there, where those sticks are sticking out. Anybody home? Anybody home? Hopefully. Hopefully someone's home. No, I guess not. And the wind's 
Shore picked up here in the evening. But it's all worth it. Nico's going back down there in the, in the weedy areas where we were having a little festival down there. And I'm just checking along the banks here. Oh, look, there was a jump. Gotcha. Oh, he was running with it. I couldn't get him. Nice smallmouth. running with it, jumped it, and then he kept running with it, he wouldn't, he wouldn't simply just uh, pull it, so I had to pretty much do the thing for him. Nico! <laughs> he pretty much was running with it, I really couldn't get a hold of him until he jumped on it and felt the weight of him. Alright, nice little beautiful smallmouth on the new baitcaster, go hand in hand together. All right, little buddy. See you later. Another pickerel. Nope. Oh, no. No. <laughs> They're all hugged up by that stump over here. I think that's like my fourth one I caught from that spot. Come on, there's got to be something in that grass over there. Oh, there's a good one. Oh, it's a bass, too! <laughs> yeah! I knew there had to be something in that grass. I kept... I just said that, too. There we go! Yeah! Man, this... These stumps right here, man, just litter with these things! <laughs> well... I'm sure you would. You can get one. They're everywhere here. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Right here in the stumps, bud. Oh, good job.